Am I in the right position, am I? Pops off. Good afternoon, everyone. I welcome you into this time. Talk to you about the most special and wonderful person that's in my life and in the life of every one of God's creation. Jesus. Jesus is Lord in all and over all. I just want to talk to you about him. You know, in the Bible he talks about us being like sheep. And you know, sheep, many times when I, when I go past the field, I always look at the sheep. And you find them scattered about in little groups all over the place, looking for greener grass. And that's, and that's like us, you know. In Psalm 103, you read that. It says what Jesus did for each one of us. Did it all. He covered every area of our lives. Psalm 103 says what he did. Bless the Lord, all my soul. I bless him with all my heart and being. And I forget not what he did. He bore all our iniquities, healed all our diseases. By his stripes, we were healed. 2,000 years ago, and it is still the same today. His words are still the same. His promises are still the same. He is the truth. And it's only the truth that sets us free. And Jesus is the truth. He is a person. The Lord is a person. And also he said he lifted us from destruction. Now what does that mean? When you think of the other the other person who's acting as God, trying to be like God, trying to copy Jesus. He is a liar and a thief and a destroyer from the beginning of time. And when in Psalm 103 it says, we lifted us from destruction, what does that mean? He means he means he showed us the way not to go down to hell. But that's where destruction is. If you don't listen to the truth and believe the truth, the enemy distracts you, draws you unto him, and leads you down to destruction. And you know, that, that is not what God wants. It is his world. He loves, he loves us all. Jesus is the only begotten son of almighty God who God gave to die for us. Grasp it, please. You know, 
Would any one of us die for, for a sinner? Like he did? We would not, would we? But he did. Because in his love, his great love for us, he is the way, the truth, and the life. I want you to read Psalm 23 now. It says, the Lord is my shepherd. You know, the Lord, the love, love is our shepherd. Because God is love. He is our shepherd. But you know, the sheep have to belong in his fold. Like the sheep in the field. If they're not, if they're not all together in a fold, they're not protected. And so we need to reach out to Jesus. He is our shepherd. And only when we come to know him, to give our lives to him, and he leads us in, into green pastures. He leads us beside the still waters. You just read that, Psalm 23. It tells you everything. He's with you. Once you become in his arms, in his guidance, he walks with you from the very beginning to the very end. Through the valleys. Walks through the valleys with you. As you look to him at all times, he lifts you up from that valley onto the high hill to be with him. But the, at the end of that Psalm 23, it says, He blesses us and we will be with Him forever. And that's what He promises on that cross. He offered us life, set free from the curse of sin. And like I've said, he is the truth. He is the person of truth. So you need to believe with all your heart. He does not lie. And he will lead you to come to him. You must be born again. You have to repent. Of your sins. He paid the price for them. You need to do your bit. Just, just go before him. Bow the knee. Repent. And you know. He's, he's, he reads hearts. He only reads hearts. He doesn't listen. To any foolish words of saying you're sorry that's no use at all he has to read your heart so it's important for you to be open to him completely believe him with all your heart he is the truth do not be like a foolish Galatian who knew, they knew the truth, walked away from it. Don't do it. My friends, your life depends upon your decision. Who do you choose? Jesus and life? 
for Satan to follow his ways, which lead to death. It's the most dis important decision you have to make in your lives, my friends. The most important. Your life depends upon it. If you continue to walk on in sin when you know it's been done. The, the fall of Adam, sin came into the world. Curse of sin came in straight away because, because the serpent, Satan, had stolen the promise that God had for Adam. So immediately from that time on, every child has been born under that curse. And the enemy does, does his best with every single one of us to distract us from the truth, to lead us into things, to do things we, we would never think of doing. But that's what he does. It's as if he twisted your arm and says, oh, come on, follow me. Will you follow Jesus, who is the way, the truth, and the life, my friends? Do not be distracted by any other voice. Like in the Word of God, it says, Hearken unto my voice. You need to listen for that voice and no other, no other worldly voice. Excuse me. No other worldly voice. The voice of Almighty God. Oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Take this hand and walk with him. From this day forth, for his ways are true and holy. Follow the shepherd, my friends. You have to be in that fold. The sheep in the field are not all together in the fold. They're not protected by the shepherd. And if you want to be under his protection, you have to come into the fold. And if you reach out to him, once you have asked him into your heart, and he's, if he reads your heart, he knows and he will answer. And if you are speaking the truth, he will, he will let you ask him into, you into his heart. And from that time on, your life will be guided by God, by Almighty God, to do the works that he desires to be done. Not your desires or my desires, but his. For only his ways are the right ways. In his perfect will. You know, you reach out to him to be in his presence is fullness of joy, my friends. It's fullness of joy. To know that he's accepted you, forgiven you. Once you've repented of those sins, they're washed away. 
You're washed away forever. But don't make the mistake of going fishing at any time. Just believe the truth, as I've said. The truth. The person who is the truth. Lord Jesus Christ, the risen living Lord. So my friend, the choice is yours. The choice is yours. Whoever you are, wherever you are, the choice is yours. Don't miss out on it. Don't miss out on it. I'm sure, like me, you would make your choice. There are only two places. It's either heaven or hell. <coughs> and we've all heard people who've come to know the Lord who've been shown what hell's like. Believe me, from what I've heard, I certainly would be terrified to think I was going there. So think on these things, my friend. I speak to you with the love of the Lord in my heart for each one of you, although I don't know you. The love is coming from my heart, from God, saying to you, come, come, come unto me. All you are heavily laden, come unto me. So my friends, I leave that call with you. Listen, listen for it with all your heart and reach out for he who seeks shall find or he who knock, knocks the door will be open but do not waste another day of your life without making this decision for God. Because there are many, many things being shown to us these days on the television. I've spoken about it a lot because it's on my heart. And I think of the people. And it's one of the places in Paris that time when they were all going to work that day. But it ended. It ended. And that's it. You have not got to hesitate. Because you do not know what the next day holds. But once you have asked the Lord into your heart, and you've been born again, a new creation, no more in condemnation. You know the way to choose. Because those people, I don't know how they th thought about Jesus, if they know Jesus, I do not know. But if they didn't, they would be judged on their own belief. And that saddens me to think of anyone turning away from life in Jesus to destruction. 
town. It's where it leads to destruction. The hell. So my friends, I again just enforce my my thoughts to you. Come on to him. You are heavily laden and he will set you free. Make your decision this day. Do not hesitate, my friends. And that's an old saying. He who hesitates is lost. Oh, with all my heart, I want you to be saved, not lost. So listen, my friends. Listen. Hearken unto his voice. And like in, it says in Deuteronomy 28, you know, he will bless you. He will bless you. As you decide to walk in his ways, to follow his footsteps. But the other side is further on. In Deuteronomy, where it shows you're not blessed if you're disobedient. That's another thing, you know. God is God, mighty God. And he expects to receive obedience. Not disobedience. So walk on, walk on to follow the truth, my friends, this day. Make your decision. I praise and thank you, almighty God, for this time, Lord, to speak out your words to your people everywhere, saying, come. Come, come, praise you, Lord. I praise you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for this time of speaking out your words to your world that you love. Your want for it to come back to being the beautiful world you made it to be. I praise you, almighty God. So once more, my friends, I look forward to speaking to you again the next time. But for now, I say goodbye and God bless you all. Keep hearkening unto his voice, for he is the way, the truth, and the life. Goodbye now.